what's up guys so as you can see here we have the truck fully packed out uh, the back is entirely full and we have some stuff on the seats as well uh, we were supposed to leave at 3 a.m it's like 5 30 now uh, we are super late uh, so we are gonna head out towards clear water lake first that's around 6 hours and 45 minutes roughly 680 kilometers from winnipeg so let's get going Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes If I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down so after driving for around 4 hours, we stopped for gas at Amiso gas station. Uh, you will find it just before you turn onto Highway 60 from Highway 6. Uh, you take this route if you are heading towards Clearwater Lake or Wekusko Falls instead of going straight to Thompson. Uh, so once we got gas, we headed straight to Clearwater Lake. It was very beautiful out there and I wish that we had more time to spend there. but. Uh, we were running late, so we had a quick lunch and then headed on towards Vekusko Falls. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs you can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down You're smiling, just really doing nothing That's the thing I like about you mm. On the highway, it's our way Route 66 and we keep on driving We just do what we wanna do Yeah, when nothing's complicated with you
Hey guys, so we just arrived at Paint Lake. We are gonna set up the tent uh, quickly because we have like one hour of daylight. So everyone's here. Okay, so there's a lot of mosquitoes. Can we do is uh, setting up some co mosquito coils and we are gonna start a fire. So after setting up the tents, we basically just had a small snack of biscuits and slept for the night. It was almost a 10 hour drive and everyone was super tired. Hey guys, so it's day two at Paint Lake. Uh, the showers and washrooms here are amazing. And it rained all night, so now we are just preparing breakfast. Had some tea and then we'll probably head towards Thompson. So we are quickly preparing some sausage bacon eggs. It keeps on raining on and off. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen a sky so blue. to be yours and you take it Hey guys, so we are in Paint Lake right now. It's very beautiful here. Uh, we are heading towards Pisev Falls and Thompson today and then we are going to come back and we found a basketball, small basketball court here as well. So we are going to play some basketball, maybe put the boat out on the lake. Uh, it's pretty beautiful. So as we were getting ready to leave the campsite on day 2, we decided to move the Pisev Falls trip to day 3 because it's on the way home and it would make things a bit more efficient. So we headed to Thompson directly from the campsite. We got uh, gas for the truck and we also bought some supplies and a basketball uh, from the Walmart at Thompson.
from there we decided to go on this cool hike that we saw. Uh, we saw some cool wolf statues and a wolf mural as well. Once the hike was complete, we decided to go get some lunch. We found this small burger shack called Popeyes. It has burgers, fries and poutine, I think. Uh, the only thing is they only take cash. So if you do want to try it out, make sure to have some cash on you. Uh, from there, we directly went back to the campsite and started playing basketball. We kept on playing basketball till the sun started to set, at which point we decided to go back to the camp and uh, started making the barbecue. Uh, we had dinner and turned in for the night and then in the morning we packed everything up and left. Canada's second tallest or Manitoba's second tallest? I think Manitoba's second tallest. Yeah. Manitoba's and not Canada's.
after spending some time at Pisao Falls Provincial Park, we decided to start our journey home. It was about a six and a half hour drive from Pisao Falls to Winnipeg. Uh, on our way, we stopped quickly at Little Limestone Lake, walked around for a bit. It was super chilly and super windy at the time, so we didn't spend much time there. And we couldn't find any kind of facilities there so, uh, where we could shelter from the wind and have supper. So we decided to carry on and then stopped at the little gas station along the way. All in all, the trip was amazing. Paint Lake is a beautiful campground and I 10 out of 10 recommend it to anyone who uh, is thinking about coming down here. Uh, there are a lot of places to see around, so uh, it would be good if you can, if you have ex some extra time to spend at each of these locations as they are very, very beautiful. <laughs> 